Hi guys, Frazi in it. Today I want to involve you guys in this video. And what do I mean by that is... I basically want to ask you a question and... You just need to answer that in the comments. So... I... If I didn't have eternality... I would have quit over a year ago because greed did not did do anything new uh, or something new that is really big or some or something you know they, all they did was the raid and then was actually the last big thing that came to K and D and that was like one and a half years ago now I think and yeah at first there were this um was new and you were like all right so it's something new and let's just try try this but when you have a game with a community as big as this you need to keep um keep coming up with new content for uh, the game itself and for the people so the people can can keep playing and keep wanting to play because I honestly, if it, if eternality and uh, my family, my K and D family wasn't here, I I would uh, I would have already quit a long time ago. Like over, I think a couple of weeks after the raid began, began to come to um, K and D. So I think I probably would have quit like a year ago or but I'm still playing because of my guilt because it's one of the it's it's totally max so there's 40 people why why I am responsible for and we already have a sub guilt and four other girls in our family and yeah I am also taking care of them so I have like over 100 people who I who am I actually responsible for and if something happens I am the one who is to blame for it. and the problem is if I quit there's nobody who can or who is actually going to follow my footsteps and uh, take over my rank as guildmaster in eternality and that brings me to the question I want to ask you guys are you still playing this game because some of my um, pe some of the people I um, that are subscribed to me, I actually already retired, but still want to keep um, to be updated with the game uh, changes and 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 everything. And since we cover every every little thing that happens on this channel, we are good. So I'm good. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, as you know, I cover everything that is on K and D. I mean, I sometimes I I skip the leaks because when I actually get the leaks, it's already a week ago. And now some of you are probably thinking on well, that song about a week ago, but no, I'm not talking about that one. But by basically, my question to you is: Are you still playing Nazi Dragons? And if so, why? Or why don't? Why are you not? What is the reason that you aren't quitting KD? Because honestly, I'm still having fun, but that that is not the end KD. I'm just having fun with them, with my guildmates, and that that is not with my um. With, with the game itself and that is what you actually should have you need to have fun with your guildmates and the game itself but uh, there's no there's nothing new I mean the last thing they added was a uh, something that was already added before it but they deleted it and that is the last and that is that um, translate uh, that there are multiple languages to choose from Still not Dutch, by the way, you assholes, but, um... Gree, if Gree wants to maintain uh, the the jammers they have now, because I see a lot of a lot of people retiring because of Gree not putting anything new, 
Gree, if you want to keep these uh, heavy buyers, I suggest you come up with something new in the next one to two months or two to three months. But not very longer as this. Because I know Heroic Mode is back, but it's all, all Gree does now is revamping uh, all the rewards, such as um, the latest they did was the Gold War again. And a rogue mode was the actual latest. See, this this was actually a great feature, you know, milestones. And we were waiting a long time for this. But this isn't something new because it was already in the raid. So it was something added that was from another update. So basically they featured something that was already in it. So it's technically not something new. It's really confusing when you think about it. And that is actually true because it is confusing even for me as we speak. But what Gree has to do, they really need to come up with something brand new. And I have tons of ideas for them. I mean, already from the top of my head. Not only new ideas, but also old ideas, such as the guilds. You can... I already have this thing, this idea, where you can, like, upgrade the guild to level 100, and then get 50 members in it, and 20 of these officers, as they call it. And, yeah, also a uh, star metal bonus, because, uh, yeah, for the people who don't know what star metal is, it's the element that counters everything. And yeah, the latest that came out was Black Chromatic Mantle, and yeah, they, they just stopped. These are the three of them, the Kaleidoscopic family. I, I just keep them because I like it. And here we have the, the plus version of the Star Metal Raymond. But it's called the Star Metal Element. I, I just call it that because there's no real name for it, I guess. I just call it Star Metal because because of the name that the armor has, it's called Kaleidoscopic Star Metal Raymond, so Star Metal is the element for me. I mean, perhaps you could call it Star Element, but it's the only element that counters all, and every other element does normal damage to it. And yeah, they basically are already outdated as fuck, but that doesn't mean that you cannot or shouldn't have a bonus for it. Because if you just have a little Star Metal bonus, you know then? The, those things will get stronger as we speak, you know? I mean, the black kaleidoscopic, or no, not the black kaleidoscope, but the black chromatic mantle is the, like I said, it's the strongest uh, star metal that came out. And it's already, it can just come to 3000 stats, so if there's a Dragonforged, I hope, I sincerely hope there will be a star metal Dragonforged soon. It doesn't have to be so overpowered because every it, it can attach every jewel set to it. And that is a fucking great feature they did. But that that is uh, uh that are already two ideas like uh, upgrade to level 150 members, 20 officers and a star metal bonus and then then you already have a completely new update and that is only uh one of the ideas or two if you count them both separate, perhaps four, but uh, that are already a couple of my ideas. And that is only about the guilt, you know? But I think they're probably going to change the these milestones right over here because, you know, it's getting a little bit outdated. And with uh, the delete, when uh, the silver keys were deleted, everything, uh, every silver key that I was just went away and yeah or it got replaced by an enchanted key but I think I probably think they should add attach some legendaries to this tier and maybe an epic at the end so when you reach on a 150k well I, I probably think they should add more tiers to 250k and just revamp everything you know and perhaps they can make a champions chess keys as well but that, that are just a couple of ideas, you know, but that are actually features for all things. But what Green needs right now is something brand new you can do or by your own or with your guild. You know, we all know the guild events by now. 
and every week is the same. I mean, midweek is just epic balls time for me. And then in the weekend, in the weekend, it's like rate or why. And that is everything. You know, it's it's always the same. I already have an entire schedule for it. Epic balls, rate and epic balls, or one epic balls. And then Monday and Thursday are, or Tuesday are relaxing days for me because then I already defeated the epic balls to level 43. And, you know, I want to spice not that schedule because lately I'm taking this, I'm, le I'm not even taking the epic ball series anymore. I mean, I always got it to level 43 and look, I'm, I'm just at level 19 and it's two days away and I'm, need I'm not even trying for it. But they, if they want something that you, if you want to keep your players, you really can't, you need to continuously add something new and that is what Gree isn't doing. So guys, my question to you is, what do you think Gree should add and why are you still playing this game? I mean, it doesn't matter that much if you're still playing because it's still a great game, but still. Guys, as always, leave a like if you enjoyed, leave that comment in the comment section, of course, not on YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.